All right, everyone. Welcome to Cheese League, January twenty second, twenty twenty three. It's a low out today, so we're not going to run a tournament, and we're just going to chill and say hi to people, and you know, hang out, and do things that normal people do. You know. Um. So on the agenda today, we're just hanging out. We're playing friendlies. Uh, but at some point, Catherine and I will be doing a best of five, a serious best of five. So that's going to be interesting. And I'm looking forward to it, actually. Um, what to do, what to do. Amazing. <laughs> no, no, I, I won't be doing that. But I will make you camp him. You surely can find a happy medium, was it? Everyone, I'm, I'm entering Marvel today. <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Free to air Marvel. I'm free to enter Marvel. I'm fucking keen now. Easy money. No contest. Can you just play friendlies for a bit? Survival! Oh, this is so loud. Ready? Go! Hello, one viewer. Hello, army wife.
And Sakai's being real cringe right now. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Kai's giving me a little back talk, don't like this. And then we allow that in 2023.
Rich homie smash. We ain't doing we ain't doing shit today. That's how it's going. We ain't doing shit today. We're just big chillin'. The traction is the same, except on the little grass patch at the ledge. I think it's... I think it's less traction. Um, yeah, actually, here's a, here's a tidbit for everyone. Mason's asking me, is, do you slide further on FOD because of the, the water, right? Yeah, so here's the actual fun fact for everyone. Um, how FOD works is the traction's normal. Except for on the little patches on the very ends, because uh, actually, let's uh, let's uh, let's all let's all load in, let's all load load into FOD, let's all load into FOD. I'm going to show you something. So, um, uh, it'll be fine. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So, um, the traction is normal, the same as every other stage on everywhere except for the grass patch on the ledge. And the reason why, oh not the reason why, right, but like one thing you can do with this decreased traction is you could do like, what's it called? Like, it's called like a something drop, like an SFAT drop or a PC drop or something. Yeah, so you like, uh, if you're in teeter, you're like sort of like, uh, yeah, T-drop. It is T-drop, yeah, yeah, it is a T-drop. Because um, what will happen is because of the de decreased friction on the grass, um, yeah, um, if you do if you do shield and like smash down on the same frame, you don't move far enough like in to like not go into shield fall animation, and then uh, that's what the T drop is, right? So like if I go if I go do like the same frame like that, that's that's why it happens, right? It's because the traction's different. It's the only stage it happens on. Um, I think. Well. The, the grass, the one yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the same thing. It's like traction is uh, different on the grass, and that's the only stage that has like a teeny tiny patch of it. So I thought that was funny. Yeah, now you know. That's why tea dropping works. So I am gonna enter a free to enter Marvel tournament today because fuck it.
I don't think it works. It's revisionist history. <laughs> yeah, wobbling never existed. It's actually all a big prank by uh, yeah one just an Arizona meme, you know. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah, 
Oh! 
Hello gamers, Kai here. And what we've got on screen is uh, Caleb versus uh, Tish right now. How do I put the thing up which tells you this is Caleb versus Tish? Oh, it's probably a scene that I don't want to change. God damn it. Alright, we're one minute in and no one has taken a stock and really neither of them is that up much that close to kill percent. Kai is off playing a free to enter Marvel tournament. Which I'm gonna go and spectate very quickly.
I have not seen your new monitor, Jay. Where would I see it?
No, that's legendary SA player Grim Tuesday, not Mason. Yeah, that's correct. It is legendary SA game at Grim Tuesday, not Mason. There is a difference. And the difference can save your life. <laughs> Good news everyone, I won my first Marvel match versus Adamba. Um, she almost beat me because we thought it was best two or three, but that game is all best of five. Because it's Marvel, baby. <laughs> oh, I need my water by the way, I'm thirsty. Huh! <laughs> 
Hello? Can y'all hear me fine? <laughs> How we going gamers? Hope we're going alright. I'm sure you can hear me fine. I'm sure you can hear me fine. I'm sure of it. No! No, that's so mean. That's so mean. Fuck you. You're the worst person in front of my computer ever. You're actually the worst person. I'm never trusting you again. I hope you know. I, that's what I get. You're an asshole. <laughs> Unfortunately, get out I, of I have this chair, and I cannot be stopped. I can't argue with an office chair, I'm afraid. So how are we doing, gamers? How are we doing? To be fair, I'm a mod of your channel. I would have done that from home. Yeah, <laughs> I suppose you can technically do that. I might not like it, but you can do that. Yeah. I too operate by the principle where I've given someone mod power and now I cannot stop this. Yeah, that's true. Like I'm allow I'm I'm okay with allowing that as well. I think is is the big lesson here, the big takeaway. So you really you're the man who will uh see evil occur and do nothing to stop it? No, that's not true. What you're doing isn't evil. You hear that, Jay? It's technically not evil, but it is, um... You can be an arsehole and not evil, you know? <laughs> like, for example, um... Like, Gary Oak. He's not evil, but he is an arsehole. He's not an arsehole, he's great. You cannot deny his girth. I don't think I'd want to. Or like, I mean, it's like the typical anti-hero uh, dynamic, right? How do I turn down the volume just for In your ears? Yeah. You want to take the phones on the bottom right, the knob on the bottom right. This one? Yeah. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, cool. I just probably had it really loud so I could hear. Now it's more like you're talking to me and not beaming your thoughts into my, like, my brain. Okay, that's better, that's yeah. better. So Jay apparently just spent a thousand bucks on a CRT monitor to play Melee. You... A thousand dollars for a speeding ticket? No, no. She paid 84 oh. like a PC CRT monitor to play Slippy I was so confused. And I'm like, that's smart. That's goaded. Jay, you know what you should do next is um, overclock it to 100 hertz. You should overclock that monitor a lot. Yes! Let's fucking go! It's 120! Oh! What do you mean you have a PC CRT monitor at 120? That's fucking sick. I want that shit. I want that shit. Oh my god. Fuck. Pretty easy to do. Alright. Oh, now I gotta get a PC CRT. Fuck my life. I hate that I have to require more and more niche things in my life. I mean, I mean, I might not technically hate it, but you know. I don't you also like might it. not technically have to acquire them. Huh? You also might not technically have to acquire them. I don't have to. It's true. Is um, is the CRT progressive scan? Or is it interlaced? I imagine if it's a PC one, it's it's progressive probably, right? Yes! Very nice. Three viewers. Tish, Jay, maybe... maybe no, only if you have a Smashbox. Only if you have a Smashbox you cheat. Hey! Hey! Too soon! It is sort of. It is sort of is too soon. I'm like... Like, that, that like, that whole post was just so like sad about it. I'm just like, I guess you can, you are within your right to do that, I guess. But it's just like, what rubs me the wrong way is just literally like, um, 
Yeah, just another case of Vic strong arming. It, and that's what that's what ultimately bugs me at the end of the day, right? Is like, there's some things I can agree with about the statement. There's some things I don't agree with. Mostly, like I can understand it, but what rubs me the wrong way is the Vic strong arming. Um, I think McLeod got second, uh, and then yeah, Goody lost to McLeod in losers. That was fucked up, by the way. That was actually fucked up. The amount of turnips you actually got. Alright, I'm in. Give me give me in. I want a game. Kai is in, ladies and gentlemen. And by ladies and gentlemen, I mean lady and gentlemen. I'm so skilled. <laughs> oh, double mic? Double mic. Two sound sources copyrights. I have all the power. No one can stop me. It's a three-man setup. Because I can't be bothered playing, apparently. Someone mute this guy, they say, not realizing that I have all the power. Alright, double mic is gone. <sighs> Unfortunately, Jay, I have all the power. Do a laser down to it, Kai. What are you doing? <laughs> Do a lightning kick, Mason. Come on. you out but still setting up everything even though there are only three other people. Play a set with me. Cool beans. Sure. All right, we're doing round robin. No pot. Best of ninety nine. Sorry. Lame, Jay. Two. 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 
<laughs> What's up, folks? Now I'm on the stream setup. Haha. <laughs> I am unstoppable. How are we going, everyone? Hope we're doing okay today. Haha, -ha, now I have two microphones. No, I won't. Do you want to talk? I don't really want to talk. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I just want to cooperate the computer. Uh, and I'm allowing that. <laughs> and I'm allowing that. Huh? Oh, I thought you were talking to me. Thank you, Jay. Um, fun fact, they're booty shorts that <laughs> Becca made. She cut them off. Huh? Oh. Jay's like, yeah, yeah. Hello, Jay. Jay's just like, nice shorts. And I'm like, they were my old work pants, and then Becca turned them into booty shorts. Because oh. they broke. Have you seen the Brian David Gilbert skit with his shorts? No. It's quite good. No. I will say, I've never really been... <sighs> He's like, sort of hit and miss with me, right? It's like, how long can I ex stand to listen to this one man, like... One, one man and his obsessions, you know? Um, but, like, I like him. Sorry, I panic every time Kai steps over my frame one cable. That's fair enough. Uh -huh. I'm on the setup now. I've sniped you. <laughs> I l I've sniped you. I'm on the I'm on the setup now. Um, no, like I find him okay, right? I find find Devil Gil Gilbert okay, but like sometimes I'm just like, okay, why is everyone obsessed with this guy? I only watch his stuff infrequently, but I've enjoyed almost all the things that I've seen. Yeah, that's the thing, right? It's like I'll, I ain't like taking away my like, or rather, I'm not like pretending that I've never like enjoyed something he's made. Is the thing, right? And I have like enjoyed quite a lot. Just sometimes the way people like treat him on the internet is just like, wow, have you seen the latest <laughs> BDG or whatever? I, I know. To be fair, like, All right, what I don't I'll think you care. understand is how rare it is to find someone even remotely likable coming out of games media. That's true. That's true. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Tish is right, this is the cheese cast. I t okay, well, you know, I uh, the plan for this year for me, right, is actually... Woo! Alright, I see it. No, the plan for me actually this year on... I can't hear you. Yeah, I know, I forget. I forget that you can't hear me. I'll, I could just plug in some other headphones anyway, but anyway. I do have a second pair. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll do that in a sec. Sure. Anyway, my plan for the rest of the year actually is... Um, so I have three cameras now. I have three actual cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, I only have two set up right now because I don't need the third at the moment. Yep. But uh, my plan is like I actually do want to do like some more like long form video, like interview stuff, podcast type stuff, right? And because I have three cameras, I can actually do proper cutaways and stuff, and I could do it all myself. But um, hello know. and welcome to Kai on the scene. Hello, yeah, Kath. Well, How are you down smashing today? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. Like, I want to do like podcasts from Eva kind of thing. Everyone, <laughs> Kath yeah. is down smashing everyone today. Yeah, would you look at that? Yeah, <laughs> you sure have. Like, like we want to do a humans of arena net cafe, but like for Eva, right? Um, and that's what I want to do. I just want to be like, hey, so like here's this person, and they come to this fucking thing all the time, right? I want to yeah, know. Right. I want to know a little bit about this person, and also I want other people to know a bit about this person. You know when Liam is like sitting behind a set that no one else is watching and loudly commentating to himself what's going on? Yeah. Can you mic that up? <laughs> yeah, I would absolutely do that. Oh, you know what I need to get? Get is one of those Zoom portable recorders. Oh, I need one of those. Those are so good. That really just killed me. Owned. Yeah. I love that it's just like in my ear when you say that. Yes. 
<laughs> it's very soft. Yeah, I like it. I'm used to these microphones, actually. <laughs> it's not gonna work. Oh, did you not hear the tapping? I did. Oh. It's very, it's very soft. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, maybe stop now. <laughs> so, so it's pretty annoying. <laughs> I'm one of the humans of the net cafe. Yeah, I mean you're right. You are right. Well, yeah, I just want to like, I just want to like, yeah, make like po podcast type stuff and like interview people and like have people know about people from Adelaide and stuff. That's that's the main thing, right? Because like I've always wanted to do that from like the old Unibar venue and stuff. But then, oh, how are you alive? I mean, just just an, on a on a meta level, the old Unibar is a great venue for your like kind of weird interview. Like, this is a great vibe. Mm. It's, I, I really love it. I'm reporting from this like abandoned bar. It's good. I would have really liked that actually, but um, yeah, no, was not meant to last. It was not meant to last. Um, I actually I did go to the, the old uni bar on the last day that it was open, and I, I just recorded a bunch of B-roll and um, like a little like. Voice oh, okay. over a bit with my camera, just like on the stage, and be like, "This this place was like amazing, right? This place was like, you know, historic in Adelaide history for it's many where reasons." I went to my first gig. Yeah, right. I was thirteen. I think. Yeah, based. How good? Everyone's yeah. got history with Univar, right? And it's like so many things have happened there. It's that floor is revolting. It's awesome. It is a level of disgusting I that oh, is rarely fuck. seen in life. It's actually awesome though, because it's like. We, we ran Big Cheese 2, right? And yep. like, it was in that room. And then, like, the following year, I got to see Dorian Electra on that stage. And, like, Sorry? I got to see Dorian Electra. Oh, okay. Um, just, like, have a pop artist, basically. Uh, to put it really, really oversimplified. <laughs> um, anyway. Uh, Jay says, yo, Dorian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Like, Big Cheese 2 happened, and then on the same stage, we saw Dorian. Electric. Sorry, it's probably more like, yo, Dorian. Yeah, I've, I've uh, no. conveyed the message more appropriately. Yeah, sure. And I'm like, that's so base, actually. And I'm like, wow. Cast, do a down smash. I'm like, wow, so cool that we run Big Cheese. Uh, and... Yeah! Yeah! Yes. yeah. <laughs> so cool that we run Big Cheese, and also we have like some performers rub, rub their snatch on the stage. It's just a good time. Oh fuck. Actually, Dorian had great dance. Sorry, can, can, can we out. not run. Can we not have performances and Big Cheese in the UX venue? The UX venue? That's where we are. That's what this UX is. students said they are. It's not just called the Hartley Building. Oh, it might be. Yeah, right. Sorry, I can't just I just can't get over the fact that the union rebrand is UX. Oh yeah, fuck that. That shit's oh, I hate Adelaide Uni! I fucking hate this place, guys. Holy fuck. I hate the security. They can suck my dick. <laughs> what have they done lately? I just hate them. I just really don't like them. Because oh. they like they were they did the bare minimum for helping me for like finding oh, the CRTs, the CRT right? thing, yeah. No no not only that, right, but like I just think it's so fucking shitty that we can have a booking for this entire space and they're like, no, you can't like allow people to walk in without a fucking uni card. I'm just like, but what do you mean? We booked the fucking, like we booked the venue, bro. Let us open the door so people can walk in. And one of Kai's three viewers. Like uni security. Jay and Tish? The uh, yeah, who, yeah, who's, who's the fucking... Who's the fucking double agent? It's Tish for sure. 100%. No one's that nice. Oh yeah, he's he's had it's an fake. ulterior motive this whole time. Um, and I think he was actually planted here all along. Uh -oh. All right, Kath, what you're gonna do is not die and then down smash him. Solid plan. Oh. Oh no. Oh, no. Am I Catherine. Marvel time? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Tish says no, he's just a friendly dog player. He's Smiley face. <laughs> Smiley face. 
I see still. Yay. Ready? Go. Fuck Ice Climbers haters, by the way. I'm just saying. I hate Ice Climbers. God damn. What's, what's there to hate about these guys? <laughs> I, don't, I don't hate Ice Climbers. I'm totally I, indifferent to Ice I, Climbers. I, I, know, I know what you mean, though. Like... Like, you're doing it as a bit, right? And I know for a fact that you don't actually hate Ice Climbers, right? I hate it's playing like, cookbook. I mean, sure. I don't just play- it's just not very fun. Yeah. I know, I know I'm not very fun. I'm sorry. I mean- But at least I'm trying. I'm not deliberately- <laughs> I picked the most fun character and I'm still not fun. It's not my- I, I've done all I can. Dude, Popo Force is awesome, by the way. I just saw, I just watched Nana like levitate. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> no, a different character. <laughs> Snitch Lord would be better if it rhymed a little better with Tish Lord. No, Snitch Lord rules. That's, that, no, that's for sure his new name. That is for sure his new ta tag. I like, Sni I like Snitch Lord more than I like Tish Lord. I mean, I, like, I just like... I'm pretty sure in more than one VC, he's just Bish Lord. Bish Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's a T in Snitch. Yeah. Snitch. We can call him Snitch Lord. As in Ryan J. What about it's what just about close? It's Azonance. What about uh, Ganesh Lord? <laughs> are, you, are you like just really a fan of Ganeshes? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's Ganesh Lord now. I mean, you yes. can. I mean, Bitch Lord works because you can say just Bitch Lord, and it, it kind of works. Oh, I'm so. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Like, that's not an insult, Jay. I have no aspirations at rapping. Just tell him like it is. I'm explaining rhyme scheme to you. You know what, Tuffy? What's up? I feel like your persona is very like intellectual hip hop. Sorry? I feel like your persona is very like intellectual hip hop. Hip hop? Like like someone who's intellectual about hip hop and rap. Intellectual but, rapper. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Your persona is very like yeah, intellectual rapper. I, I, I genuinely don't know enough to know what that means and if I'm being insulted. Uh, it's not really an insult. It's just more like the type of person that is like, oh yeah, you gotta listen to this person, right? They like, like the thing, like the things in their lyrics and the way they rhyme or whatever. Like, it's like nothing you've he heard before, right? Your persona is very like it embodies like you would be someone who would be really into it, huh? I, yeah, beat poet. Yeah, yeah. Jay yeah. said he's. Co you're calling me Anthony Fantano. Someone I. No. I, again, I do not know. No, These are no, 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 this no, no, is not no, helpful. No, no. Anthony Fantano is not an intellectual rap rapper. He's not. A, he's not a. What's the a, a beat poet? No, he's not. He's not any of that. The closest I come to like hip hop is having YouTube video essays explain it to me. So maybe that's correct. Yeah, see, yeah, I'm on, I'm on the money, let's go. That's it, I'm on the money. I don't, I know, I don't care about him. Fuck, fuck, I hate that one. <laughs> I just, like, got owned by Jones. Oh no, I, I need you to keep going. Please explain this bit to me. What? The intellectual what is intellectual hip hop? No, your persona is very, like, it sounds like you look and sound like you would be into, like, Thought-provoking rap. <laughs> you know? Is that not just... <laughs> Is that not the point, largely, of rap? You would be the you would be the rarest person in the world if... Yeah. Alright. I, I don't think people perceive rap that way. <laughs> Who's Horacle? <laughs> um, turn up coffee? Yeah, the point of rap is to turn up. 
know what's going on. The point of rap is to turn up. What does that mean? You turn up. You know, you turn it up. Um. So who would be horrorcore? Uh, who kind of embodies horrorcore? In the scene? Like, I want to say Splice. He's not quite active. Anymore. Splice is almost horrorcore. You could, you could, you what's could. What's horrorcore? It's a genre. Okay. It, it's scary music. <laughs> it's just scary music. It's scary hardcore music. <laughs> I'm sorry, I listen to like... We love music. Indie white people playing acoustic guitars. Um... What's J? Um... My first thought is something like Purity Ring, like Witch House, but I don't think you quite fit the mold for Witch House. I just think it's something that you like... Or into, but it's probably not like a, it's not like your your stomping ground if that makes sense, right? Yeah. So I think it's like it's in there, but I don't think that's what you embody in the personality test. Um, Kath, you gotta catch that turnip. I mean, if I'm like, you know, what's wreck Tish? My, I'm racking my brain at the moment, and, and all, I've, all I've got is like, yeah, it's just like synthwave. <laughs> funnily enough. Is Tish synthwave? Is Tish? Tish is also sort of an intellectual uh, beat poet variety, but he's kind of like. Um, but I cannot tell. I yeah, cannot no, Tish the type of guy to say where my jewel. Um, I think like, uh, I think Tish is like. He's like a, a hip hop nerd, but like he's a turntablist nerd. You know, he's like he's someone who's interested in like the scratch era of hip hop. But I cannot tell if you are implying that I would like this music, or that I like give off the vibe of someone who would like this music. No, you give up the vibe of, of someone who, yeah, oh. yeah, of someone who does like the music, and oh, also the, and uh, and the music by extension, right? That's fair enough. Because it's like, um, you know, actually, th this wasn't really an argument I had with my partner, but it, we had a very funny conversation because, um. Uh, like we like we saw a post that was like, imagine calling like Caravan Palace Fedora Core, and I'm like, I do call it Fedora Core. It is Fedora Core. All Electro Swing is Fedora Core to me. I think I liked Caravan Palace like 15 years ago, very briefly. 15 years ago, holy yeah. shit! No, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and I just went off on a fucking. Fedora core ramble. Um, Reddit core. Oh my god, that was a beautiful one. Yeah, Weird like, tech Tish is almost Reddit core, but I think Tish is actually, uh, like a deep cuts turntablism fan. <laughs> no, no, I saw. <laughs> It's alright, my age allows me to bond with Musket, and that's all I want out of life. Bond with who? Musket. Ah. Uh. We share all the same childhood TV shows. Uh. For Wait, how old are you? 30. Oh, okay. Me. Do you know how old I am? 28? Yeah. yeah. There you go. I don't feel 28, which is the funny thing. I don't think that will ever go away. Like tie dye top that says. Beauty you own. beauty. It's <laughs> so good. Of course you don't feel 28. It's so good. It's so, uh, that's not that's not very 28. No. Shut up, Jay. You're like 24. Act your age. Jay is 24, but I don't see any reason to act like you're 24. Like, I think acting I think acting 24 is like actually objectively shit. Kind of it's kind of shit. It kind of sucks. Fine. There's nothing wrong with people in their mid 20s. Well, nothing systematically wrong. There are plenty of things wrong with some people in their mid twenties. Yeah, you're right. No, actually, no, no. Fuck twenty-four year olds. What? No, Why? If you're, a, if you're a man, I hate you. If you're twenty-four. Um. <laughs> I just, I just cannot vibe with Kai's like weird, just snap prejudices about the world. <laughs> I have so many prejudices. Hold up. He's, he's unlocking. Yeah. <laughs> Would hate to be me in two years. 
How old are you, Tish? Tish is 22. One, maybe. Tish is a huge dweeb. Shit. There you go. 22. Yeah, I'm gonna really, really dislike you in two years, Tish. Especially because I'll be 30. I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna be much more like concreted in my ways. Like my cement of my brain is a uh, is gonna set at that point. I'm I'm gonna be I'm very. I'm really unhappy. targeted right now. No, I'm not. I'm not 30 yet. I'm not 30 I don't know why. <laughs> okay, that's a good point, actually. Very good point. Yeah, I don't. I don't have that kind of. Um, future to look forward to. Every year is also one year closer to me being a MILF, so... Upsides. What kind of MILF are you? None. Okay. Well... <laughs> you are a MILF. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your children. I fucking hate kids. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's something a MILF would say. <laughs> You know people post that Michael Jordan meme with fuck them kids? <laughs> fuck them kids, yeah. Fuck but I agree with that unironically. <laughs> fuck them kids. <laughs> it's so good. Um, so I'm watching just an even matchup occurring. Just a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, your classic 5-5. Five, five. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you want to know the funniest thing I heard over while I was playing um, Marvel just before? I heard. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, the funniest thing I just heard. Uh, I was playing Marvel just before, and um, there's this guy, Hedge. He was next to me. My team is zero Magneto Doom, and he's like, "Oh wait, what? The, the guy from Mega Man is in, is in Marvel vs. Capcom? I had no idea." <laughs> I'm like, damn, bro. <laughs> Who would have thought Capcom would have put in Mega, a Mega Man character in the Marvel vs. Capcom? <laughs> Crack me up. Crack me up. Let's go, Mason! Yeah, let's go, Mason. I think kids are like... Kids are really cool, right? But I'd never want to raise one. Kids are not really cool, and I would also never want to raise one. I find, them, I find them endearing, you know? I find them very endearing. Um, and they're really funny to me. Especially like Zuma kids. Like we have this one friend. No. No, no, I love Zuma kids. You they're shouldn't. so funny. They're so funny, man. You have to like take it with like a, like a post ironic grain of salt, you know? Um, Cause they're long past that. They Actually they have no, they have no sense of post irony because they are so ironic they are already Like, I find um, interacting sincerely with Zoomers right now is awesome. Because you can you can actually just easily connect with Zoomers at, uh, if you're kind of like in our position. I find them very, very easy to connect to. But they just say funny shit. They just say like completely out of pocket statements. And you're just left like, I don't know how to respond to that. I don't have the context at all. But like, one example, right? Like, I, uh, we have this like friend of the family, right? And he's kind of young, right? He's like, 15, 16 now, but I've known him since he was a baby, and um, like his family's pretty close to mine. And um, basically, one Christmas he was over, and he's like, "Ah, oh, Kai, are you a Twitch streamer?" Yeah, yeah. It this is this story rules, by the way. I <laughs> I don't like, like the start of the no, story. No, no, it's such a good start. What do you mean? He's like, "Are you a Twitch streamer, Kai?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, like you know, I do all the." Smash tournaments in Adelaide, you know that kind of thing. He's like, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. You should, you should watch some. Like, you can just look it up, man. Like, it's what I do. And he's like, do you play Fortnite? I'm like, no, nah, man, I don't play Fortnite. I play um, I do play Apex Legends. I was like, I'm like Gapex Legends. He's <laughs> 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 like, with that skipping a bait. He literally was like more like Gapex Legends. <laughs> he's like 13. Uh, I'm like, so owned. Oh, I'm like. Can't come back from that, bro. I actually can't come back from that. It's so good. I was so happy. I was just literally like, "You got me. You got me good, kid. You got me good." He's actually like, 
pretty chill, right? Um, I don't know much about like the teenager he is at all, but like it's nice to be able to talk to him and just be like, hey man, like, look, you're a young person online. If you want to speak with an older person online that you can trust, you can come to me, buddy boy. Because uh, you know, it's not it's not easy being a young person online. I'll never be offering a similar service to any young person I know. I'm taking away your MILF badge. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ha you actually have to have some kind of nurturing qualities. I have zero nurturing yeah, qualities. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking it away now. But I do vibe with more like Apex Legends, so... Alright, I Mark got Marvel Kai's to play. Gone. I got Marvel to play, boys. Wish me luck. I got, I got bad news for you, Jay. I don't think Kai will be winning Marvel. <laughs> He definitely picked it up two days ago. But apparently one of the guys did not know that Zero was in the game, so... Alright, I'm back in. We're swapping mics. Uh, yes, hello Jay, how are you? What's my persona? Yeah, my persona 5? Alright, can Mason clutch this? Which Disco Elysium character am I? I don't know, am I the racist lorry driver? Am I Titus Hardy of the Hardy Boys? I am not the racist lorry driver! Take that back! Aside from being racist, you know what defining features the racist lorry driver has? A weird enthusiasm about the world. He draws inspiration and, like, passion from his racism. A thing that's just not part of my life. What? No. No, I am not... No. No. Fucking... Ugh. 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 Get out of here. No. That's maybe. Hey, we haven't known each other very long, but I think that may be the most insulting thing you've ever said to me. Not a fan of that one, Jay. Do not. Do not heart react this. No. No. Horrendous. I don't know why I'm watching it on the TV when it's literally right in front of my face. How long before Mason gets a cap up? Sorry? A calf dub. A calf win. A victory over one Catherine Musket. Yeah. But I'm looking at these and I'm like, oh god, this is close. Sorry? I don't know. I just said Kath is probably both a better player and a Peach player, which is my... I don't know. Oh, I know nothing about Peach versus last time. No, 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 this is Grim Tuesday. Well, to be fair, do you know who came into BB chat on Friday? Luna Dusk. 
the actual honest to god Luna Dusk, he was watching uh, Magical Thing versus Yellow, so Peach Ice Climbers, and he called the matchup a joke matchup. Yeah. A genuine joke matchup. Luna Dusk, Josh Slayer. The very icon of nighttime on the mo on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he's also he's also a, a Josh Slayer. Is Slugger Josh Slayer? Uh, maybe I don't know. I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I imagine so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long is this game? I want a friend to talk to on stream. What's, uh, what's happening in Marvel Land right now? We've got two people whose names I don't know playing. And uh, and that's it. That's all that's happening in Marvel Land right now. I fucking hate this chat. I'm moving. Army wife has redeem redeemed hydrate, but I don't have a bottle of water. One sec, I'll get a car. He'll, he'll drink for you. He's playing right now. How many fucking water? I should have brought a bottle. Wait, hold up. There's a vending machine. The vending machine does not do drinks. Hi. I'm staring into the void of my own soul here and finding nothing. Shut up, Jay. You're not sorry. You called me God. Hi Kai. Jay redeemed hydrate, so I'm gonna need you to take a drink. Alright. I can definitely do that. Yeah, unsurprisingly, I couldn't beat Giggles. Oh, is he here? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I, I could not beat him. We love Giggles. Yeah, Giggles is pretty good at that game. 
That's just deeply, like, cutting Jay. I think Pigney won at BAM. He Sorry. won Marvel at BAM. Good guy, dude. Yes, my guy. This just <laughs> seems like a god gamer of all games. He he really is, actually. He's yeah. really, really good at video games. Very good at video games. Um, hmm... I feel like we should do some sets, it's like 7.30. I wanna do sets. Yeah. <laughs> we should do some sets. I'm playing the first set. Alright. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Alright, dweebs. Which one of you would like to play me in a set? Pog. Yeah. I'm playing Kath in a moment. Yay! First, By playing Kath, I mean quickly dispatching Kath in a, in a clean 3-0. Don't you talk about my guy like that. Your goat calf. <laughs> yeah, my goat calf. It's like my neighbor Totoro. My goat calf. Alrighty. <laughs> Alright, first game. Yeah, first set off. First set though. <laughs> I have a brand new cable. Crazy, ah, oh, go stupid, ah, go crazy, ah, oh, go stupid, ah. I will give you this. And you can speak into the microphone. New cable hype. This cable cost me $60. <laughs> it's fucked up. Such a blow up. Alright, you take that one. Alright, game one, we're doing Yoshi's. Hype. Looks like a hand one. <laughs> Looks like a hand one, but I'm not sure if it is. Uh, okay, Mason, you're about to get some audio, mate. How is that? Uh, put put them on. Put them on. Can you hear alright? Yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Game, yeah. game on. Hand uh, warmers. Yeah, game on hand warmers. <laughs> oh yeah, we're ready guys, by the way. <laughs> Huge Kath fan, actually. Oh. Hello, JJ. Hi, Army Wives. A lot of people coming yeah. through. Who would have thought? This is thought? cool. Um, so much for the... And no Polion, even though he was the... He was up. He was up here. He was here? All right. Yeah, he was in here. All right. No, big game ahead. All right, there we I'm go. a big fan of the Daisy costume. I think it doesn't see enough love. I'm inclined to agree. Very inclined to agree with that. Oh, strong start from Coffee Rex. Ah, I accidentally zoomed in. There's a troll in the stage, but we know that Catherine's counter hit game is particularly strong. Coffee Rex in friendlies has been getting hit by a lot of down smashes that he is not too happy with. <laughs> You know, I would be a bit upset if I was um if I was Peach and I wasn't like good at counter hitting. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That would be has there ever been a Peach who's like bad at counter hitting and somehow, you know, has strength outside of that aspect of a game. It's kinda you kinda need it. Yeah. It's kinda what she does. The big thing is like if you're a Peach, you've watched Armada and Armada's like the Bible oh for how you wanna play that game. That, how you wanna play that character, I feel. 
Something people still don't do as much as Armada did, I feel, was um, holding onto their shield till it's a tiny M&M &M and really like angling it around and knowing how to lock every attack to the last possible set, really forcing, you know, I don't know, forcing maybe, a grab. though, is it, do you want to do that or is it better to sort of like try and just roll out, hold on to keep your shield bigger for like, for further exchanges? Maybe it's a, It depends on the matchup. I think if you're f against Fox, you're going to get clipped by a down air if you let that happen. Right. Because like the multi-hit moves are very effective against like a small shield. Yeah. Um, what about versus Falco? Versus Falco, it's, it's, you can feel a bit more safe in doing so because in order for Falco to actually like capitalize off a of poking, he has to be doing like this pressure where if he gets a four tilt or something and pokes your shield, it's not really going to necessarily lead to yeah, that. there's that. But it's more like um, how you want to poke Peach is like you want to be doing like shine, point blade, short hop, laser, and then poke with that with the sure. laser, and then after the laser hits, it's like they break, and then you uh you, you get to actually like get a like shine after that, right? Right. Um, ah, the Toad Recovery. It's the Captain Classic. Yeah, you know, I was like... Um, I was thinking like... Peaches just seems a bit worse to be in shield as opposed to just be floating uh, directly above the ground. Yeah. It just seems way worse. I was going to update the score, but I don't have to. <laughs> I'm, I'm based. I'm fucking based. I mean, I could set it up, but... But... Shmeh. Actually, no. The players are laughing. They're having a good time. I, I've decided, actually. Ready? <laughs> yeah, we might do a few sets. He said he wanted to play best five with you as well. I'll well, yeah, we're just going to do round robin, but no Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Like, we, may, we have four people here. We'll all play a set. We'll play several sets. And then I'll pack up and I'll go home and I'll upload the VODs. It'll be a good time. Right. Um, so what I was going to do was this. You know, Catherine is a bit of a madman and will actually always take the stage. Yeah, I... Wait, what? It, it took me a second to... Yeah. She doesn't like FD, right? Nah. Um, it's just a bit crazy going here because... Yeah, you're gonna die really early. But how, how is this better than Found of Dreams in any respect? Um, what does Peach gain? I mean, Peach gets to at least kill a bit early as well. That's like one. That's one yes? handy dandy thing, right? But it's not like you're killing off the top, really. No. Which is like the big benefit. Eh? I'm not sure how much. And I mean, she should be killing from sort of like edge guards anyway, as opposed to like raw. Raw hits. Like. Maybe that's why. Maybe it's the edge guards that she likes because it's like the plat where the platform is on oh, the side. Oh, yeah, actually. I think that. Um, yeah, I think that could be a part of it. Like, I know really? that's like a big reason, like why some people go to the stage. Why Sheik is really good on the stage is like right. it's got that platform right next to the ledge. Yeah. Well, that was pretty important. Uh, is, ooh, nice. A sniped. Let's go, Kath. Huge. S -s -s Huge. Um, you know, I was wondering, is I feel like Fod is like a smaller, um, like has a smaller amount of space, like on the stage, compared to, um, yeah, compared to Yoshi's. Yoshi's. Yeah, I think that's true. Would that true. be true? Though. Because the edges are slanted, it's a bit funky as well. I'm not actually... I'm not sure if that's true either, to be honest. It just seems it's like it's... Like, I think the camera's a lot tighter on uh, yeah. the So it just kind of seems that way. Yeah, I think you're right. Could be talking out of my ass, you know. That's a good thing about saying you could be right, is I'm not really committing to... Uh, <laughs> could be right. <laughs> yeah, could, you could also be completely wrong. I wouldn't know that. Well, Catherine is, apparently, JJ thinks Fox owns Peach on this stage, but Catherine has other ideas that, I don't know, she's, she's certainly putting into practice here. Oh, see, look, Randall. That Randall into F Smash, that almost worked, and she doesn't get that on every stage. That's a Yoshi's exclusive. This is a certified hood classic. 
So, Catherine is now just nearing, and it succeeded because that's how it works. So sorry. Look at this. Ready? Go. You're gonna do it like the action and uh, put the numbers outside of the boxes? No. <laughs> no. I would, I would no. not be doing that. No. I will not be doing that, actually. I've decided. The action stream was very funny. Who won? Josh, man? Yeah, Josh, Josh did win. McLeod got second, though. Hey, did he take any games in the... I don't think he did. I don't think he did, sadly. Bomber. Maybe next time. I think McLeod's so good, though. He is pretty darn swell. Oh, yeah, did Catherine win that last game, by the way? Uh, yes. I'm going to assume so. Yeah, she did. I remember it now. There we go. Now, this stage also conventionally considered Fox favored, but you know what? Catherine is just a monster. Oh, and she pulled a stitch, but you know, just throws it away. You know what I think? You don't see as much Fox domination on the stage as you used to. Well, it did used to be on Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what you mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, no, that was just absurd. That was a situation where Fox kind of had a stage that was, like, significantly better for him than most other characters yet, I think. Like, I don't know. It's unfortunate that Fox is so insanely good on so many of the stages. Because like, even if you're playing casually and just like, oh, we'll just have a fun romp on Foresight or something, it's like, Fox probably really good there. It's probably good. I think, I think really Yoshi good. is actually really good on a lot of stages. You know what? He actually is. Um, he just doesn't really care about... No. Like, ledge, no ledge, uh, big, small. It's all good. Uh, well, Coffee Rex was losing this originally, but he's like, uh, he's brought it back pretty strong. Just... It makes such a big difference whether he gets hit by a down smash into 40% or something like that. There's a lot of these... A lot of situations where he's only taking like 3% each trade or something, or, you know, he's really winning a lot of the trades, and then just something big will happen. Oh, that was great, though. Really fast ledge dash out of just snapping the ledge out of... Alright, sweet. What's up, Kisman? Um. I'll wait box dash busted. No, I, I mean. Oh, no, I should just play. Actually, I do have Marvel to play, folks. I don't know if that was box dash being busted. Ready? Go! Oh. Going for the chain grabs, potentially. But this does simplify Fox's punch game quite a bit. He ledged just a time up. Yeah, but he had to like time the ledge dash to when he grabbed the ledge. It's like... Yeah, of course you can get Glyn with the controller. Like. <laughs> I think the difficult part, I mean, it'd be one thing if it's like he's talking about his uh, consistency or something. I don't know, maybe he's more consistent at ledge dashes than a regular person. But I think being able to get it with the tight timing upon grabbing a ledge, that's just... I don't know, I, I don't think that is that, that much easier on right angle. It's like... The, the difficult thing is recognizing, like... Trying to cut that distance really short. Anyway... Yeah, I agree it is only timing on box, but I don't think the input is particularly difficult. I'd say the timing is the actual like, difficult part of it. Because if you do it too early, then you just like... You can, you know, tournament winner, all kinds of things. Ooh.
Kuro has been playing really solid the last like two stocks of the Pokemon Stadium game and then most of this game. Maybe jinxed it. Oh, that was a pretty decent recovery though. Dodged the turn and everything. <laughs> oh, JJF. Yeah, it's literally not full length. Um, anyway. Yeah, the, the consistency is the one thing where I'll say I hate that we've <laughs> box Discord is just impossible to avoid, but. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know you just like, you know, say stuff and say you're saying it. It's fun to talk about. I mean, people can't be too sensitive about it. Yeah, I. GG's. Alright. I'm down for whoever. Oh, I can pick. I'll fight you. Yeah. Okay, Couch, it's weakened you. <laughs> go in, Rose. So am I. Can you hear me? Is it good? I don't assume it's good. Alright. Eh. <laughs> and you've been making progress. It's good to hear. It's always love enough and coming Falcons. <laughs> you'd go in this match, huh? Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I gotta play against I need, I need to see what the hype is. Because I heard you uh, beat Caleb in a set, and that's pretty good. He's like, played the matchup a bit. True. Sometime on Dinette. Uh, direct. <laughs> Stadium or not? I feel like, um, I feel like I see one Yoshi's, but I could also be completely wrong about that. We'll see. Ready? Feels like um, as Fox, you just wanna break them up with like a nice shine or backhand, and then your goal neutral is just playing a clean in, and figuring out what to do after. It seems like you just your first priority is just getting rid of Nana in some capacity, so you don't have to deal with the one and a half characters. Oh. a lot more manageable when it's just paper. Oh, especially Fox is like faster. So it's easy to hit and shit. That match is always nice because there's a lot of things um life comes does. Like they've got like way in like like side B is always a nice bag of tricks that they have. Like, even whiffs and you don't wanna be there. Oh these handoffs though. So that was a lot. You love to see it. If you were in Vices, you love to see the handoffs handoff. Man, Steven, that nearly killed. Oh. And 
I'm not gonna lie and say I know what I do as well. Besides just running in, doing a move, and hoping it works. But it looks like it worked. Got no idea about this matchup. Oh. Oh, I see Falcon. It's like kind of similar how you just want to break it apart, but Falcon also has some pretty good tools and Stomp is pretty good. Back is also nice. Go a little beach for the Icy matchup. Yeah. Um, that's a really important matchup. Because, um, you're playing Icy's and you don't know what to do against Peach, you're just completely fucked, because he's gonna fare you down smash, maybe there, or just anything to break you off. You need to get back up. Especially, you need an- I'll say you need handoffs. Like, I'm- That's gotta be like half of the reason you still play Ice as a good Peach, like you get handoffs. You just get the big sense. So I've had a lot of people say similar things that they get disoriented with like Aussies. Because like you have to look at like both of them and keep track of them. Ooh, first game. Uh, uh how do I change the score? Alright, yeah. Hi. <laughs> you got it under control? Uh, you don't have to worry about the stocks, you can just hit save. Yeah, because it's like the ultimate ones. Oh. Do you want to hit zero zero, or is that the score? Oh yeah, that's. Okay. There's a button in the middle. You can just press zero zero, and then it's yep, yep, and then hit save. Nice. So uh, surprising nobody. Um, I didn't do didn't do too well in Marvel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> surprising nobody. Yeah, that was my first actual Marvel games played in tournament. I remember the black coat you. Play it sometimes, so. Huh? I've heard um, you've been playing some Marvel. Oh, yeah, because, um. Yeah, what happened was, like, my mate <laughs> got me. He roped me in. Mm -hmm. He ro he roped me in, and I'm like, I've got the bug now. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll play it. Mm -hmm. See how I go. Uh, but the thing about that game is, like, you actually sort of have to know what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing yet. But you need to, like, plant the seed <laughs> before anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I'll learn some combos maybe soon. We'll see how we go. Definitely seems like a game that you either know your bread and butters or you just, like, drown. Mm, I know one bread and butter. I know how to do, the, uh, I know how to do like, a 50% like a Doom combo, like solo. Mm -hmm. So I know how to do that, um, which is, like, enough if I'm playing Doom, but... The problem is, is like I got three other characters to worry about now, or two yeah. others rather. Yeah, and you need to, you need to know at least one bread buff for the two others on your team. Oh uh, yeah. Oh my god, I believed actually. Yeah. Let's go, Mason. Let's go, Mason. Yes. It's just hard because they're like spaced out though. Oh well, I guess they're not now, but when they're on either side of the stage, like you can't get handles from there. You're worried about Fox just breathing on either views. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell? What the hell was that crap? What the hell was that crap? It just happens. Okay, wrong button. Sometimes coffee wins and you hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you hate to see it. Yeah. I hate to see it all the time. <laughs> Wait, so did Mason win the first game? Yeah. Ah, oh, good word. 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. Much to think about then. I mean, basically, definitely seems like he knows what he's doing. Like, look, he did that. I think he does know what he's doing. It's just that, like... Rough matchup. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he'd probably say to himself, like, the matchup doesn't define everything. Like, when you're playing ICs. Hmm. Well, I, I don't know if you saw, but, like, Mesa had, had some crazy SDI in oh. preparation for one of those back airs. <laughs> kind of nuts. He's just good yes, defensively. Let's go, Mesa. Like, it's just actually hard edge guarding it. I'm not sure, like, how much of that is me being bad, but that's definitely at least a good part of him just good in getting back onto stage. Mm. Ah. Take that, Nana. <laughs> yeah, fuck Nana. You know about Popo Force, right? Uh, no. So, like, inherently, if Nana is nearby Popo, mm -hmm. she, like, will like be gravity like pulled like her gravity will be pulled towards Popo. Oh. So that's why you see her always kind of like have this force applied. Oh my god, disgusting. Um you always see this force applied to Nana where she'll just like she'll be on the ground and she's like kinda getting pulled. I thought just like the AI designed to just no. come back to Popo. No, it like it's actually like Popo pulling her closer. Oh. So they call that Popo Force. Yeah. Because sometimes you can see, like, if Popo jumps, Nana will, like, levitate sometimes. <laughs> She'll have, like, a float. Oh. Float cancel? Not quite. Oh. If, I, if... Oh. We should give Ice Climbers float cancels. Coffee Rex has brought us back, though. Yeah. Huge. The problem is, this is scary, though, like... Oh, yeah. Ice is one of those characters I'd not feel comfortable about till I've taken that last dog. Well, at least when there's both of them. Like handoffs. Nice. That's a little bit spooky. Yeah, like Coffee is technically in the lead, but one handoff and he could definitely be behind. Go, Mason. Oh. oh no. He's just gonna do the girl smashes. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's it's good. Oh, oh. oh. He's scared. Oh, oh. oh that's okay. big. Right. Oh, that's only... Yeah, now he has to play Sopo. That dash attack is so rough. <laughs> Sopo. Uh, oh. That wasn't too bad, though. Yeah. That was not too bad. 2-1. Okay. Oh, the good news is that I'm out of Marvel, so I don't have to go play it anymore. Unless you want to play it. I... I yeah, I want to play it, but I also, like... The problem is, it's like if you play, it's like when you play melee uh, and you're new and like you play against someone who knows what they're doing, right? Yeah. It's like you actually don't get to play. But Marvel, it's even worse because you're just in a combo for like a hundred hits. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard everyone that talks about Marvel, they end up saying at some point like, when you get hit, you're just waiting like a half a minute of cinematics before you get to do something. Yeah, it's a bit like that. But they say that. But any Marvel player will tell you is that it's actually, it at least has some interaction in it. Yeah, like apparently if they like mess up. Well, what you can do in Marvel, right, is you can do this thing called a team aerial combo or a TAC. <laughs> While you're comboing, uh, when you're like, yeah, comboing someone in the air, and if you press up special, side special, or down special, you start the TAC. And if the other person, does the same like special, the combo drops. It's like a burst. Oh, so, so you just have like a yeah. one in three chance. Of yeah, just well, it's a rock paper scissors like mid combo, yeah. right? So what can happen, right, is like someone will try to start a TAC because you can do like TAC infinites. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that's oh. so shit. Um, and so there's an incentive to start it, right? You don't just get a combo and like kill someone all the time. There's an incentive to like do the TAC because you're rewarded with the opportunity to to do an infinite on someone. Yeah. So it's not always uninteractive when you're getting comboed, but like you know, for the most part. I mean, there's probably still times where like you go for the rock pieces and then you just don't get it ever. Yeah, yeah. You can you can just lose it every time. And it's basically uninteractive. You might as well put the control down. 
Yeah, sense. if you want a game that has more of that interaction, you just play Killer Instinct. Because that one has actual combo breaks. Yeah. Oh? Eight. Oh, and what a mash. Yeah. Now, if we want to get another one from here. Ooh. Eight. Oh, hey, that ain't good. <laughs> Yeah, you know, if Mason wins this, good for him, but this, this has got to be really rough. This is a garbage situation. Yeah. Like, he, even if he takes the stock, he's still got... Boo! Fuck, fuck. <laughs> uh. Don't learn Peach for the Ice Climbers matchup, Gizmet. No, it's fine. Oh, da -da -da -da. oh. That was cute. I like those wavelands, Catherine. What's up? We do love Captain. What's up, McLeod? How was the action? Did you have fun? <laughs> Soon, Catherine Gaming. We gotta wait for them to warm up their hands sufficiently. I'm well, McLeod. Thanks for asking. Um. Alright, gaming has begun. Starting in Yoshi's versus Kai. That's interesting. I guess was as Catherine showed uh, that she likes this stage, but I know Kai really likes this stage, <laughs> and he's gonna be going for those early shine kills at some point. Oh, uh, Catherine's on the back foot the entire stuff, but let's see if she can get something started here. Yeah, here we go. Just up there off the Alps, right? Ooh, no, nah, it's not gonna quite kill. It's a bit hopeful for Kai. 58%'s nothing really, like. As long as Cap takes this stock, she's fully still in this game. Nice. Weave the back there in there. A little dash dancing. Needs to answer those lasers there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
see you, Coffee. Alright, big opportunity from Catherine. Oh. Nice recovery guy. And opens it right back up. Yeah, these are just, uh, we were just doing a round robin, basically, like, everyone just doing best five against each other, but, uh, Coffee just left, so he won't be able to play against Kai, but, um, I'll still do a best of five with Kai and Catherine, probably. Oh, Captain Hillops, that sucked for so long. If she can make this stock last that long as well, she is fully still in this. Nice now. Big early fourth throw, she's picking up on that. Oh, but she's a bit too hesitant to uh, really going for the big damage, I feel. Alright, finds the opening in neutral. I feel like they've been getting a similar amount of neutral wins, but um, Catherine is just not pushing hers as hard. She'll often like, uh, knock Kai away and then just sort of reset and run away a bit. Oh, beautiful down smash. But also an excellent recovery. Oh, reverse grab. Could this be it? Not short and will protect him. Randall's trying to interfere. Now, how is Kai going to try and find, find a kill here? Forward smash is maybe a bit too committal. We'll see how it pans out. Invincibility of the side B is going to cancel out the back air from Catherine. Both players just looking for anything here. It's a shield attack, shield attack. Oh, the fourth throw. And that's it. Could have been practically any aerial there and that would have killed. <laughs> Back to Yoshi's, for sheer confidence. I really don't know about <laughs> Catherine's religious attachment to this stage, but... McLeod and Caleb in a hotel together just sounds like a sitcom premise. The odd couple. Wish you were here, guys. South Australia just isn't the same without you. Like, Huddy, Caleb, and McLeod, these are the three people that we can rely on to come to all of the locals, and you guys are all in ACT. I don't want to say, um, betrayal, but that is, that is a sentiment that's going through my head. Huddy pooped off? Dude, who did Huddy poop off on? <laughs> don't correct it. You said what you said. Dude, that's sick. Who do you beat? I've been waiting for the arty performance. Oh. Brutal showing from that game. Is Catherine going to go back to Yoshi's? Or... Oh, a beat Ipcat. Nice. Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no. This is not what we want. Oh, dear. Is this going to be... Is this a statement right now about about counterpick choice? 
Is this Kai saying, look, Yoshi's story is my stage? Um, no, I don't think Artie would be too good for BB. I think he it would be kind of perfect for it, honestly. I don't know. It, it's hard to say if he's just having a bit of trouble adjusting to, like, I imagine moving to a different country that has a lot, a lot involved in it. So I'm not sure if he was, like, he felt a lot more comfortable in the French scene and was sort of, like, it'll take a little bit for... Yeah, he's, he's definitely mid-level mayhem caliber. Like, that's, that's beyond, without question, basically. Are you going to beat down? Yeah, I'm not sure. It remains to be seen how good Artie truly is. Yeah, Kathleen Fighters, I know, right? This is this is such a statement that Kai is making right now. This is through his gameplay. He is communicating exactly the message that McLeod just uh, laid out for us eloquently in chat. Oh, and saves! He's not done! I am not done with you yet. I want to see some more Stitch faces. Let's see some Mr. Sands. Whatever you got, pull them all out. GG's. Damn. McLeod said, Cap learned from this nation challenge. That's official way. Fuck, Fuck you, McLeod. I need three stages. One's gonna be Fod, one's gonna be Yoshi's, and the third one can be Battlefield or Found Destinations, but I need three. Alright. But so she's got the game plan and you just need to shut your mouth. Yeah. And just let it happen. Let it play out, dude. Who do you Stop think being you different. are? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> who's who's playing this? <laughs> You're not a big fan. <laughs> Caleb's a fan, not you, McLeod. Uh. Oh, I know you are. Neon's my biggest fan. Except Anthony, he's probably my biggest fan, for real. No, Yoshi's good. Did you see the first game? It was close. Oh. Ah, classic. Big hitboxes. Versus Icy's wall of trying to not get hit. But what do I think about Ice Climbers? Um, I feel like I feel like they're kind of limited in the sense that like they can do a lot. Oh, 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 sweetie. I mean, you're welcome to you're welcome to double with, with someone else if I'm like like entering an event. I'm sure there are plenty of competent people out there. Maybe even someone that can down smash the way I do. <laughs> you know, honestly, I think Falcon on a team is definitely a boon. It's just sometimes like the brain rot they need. And like, they just want to hit something, even if it's their own teammate. <laughs> but I think I definitely think Falcon works, even double Falcon. And it's true. <laughs> and we're not the level where you're thinking, oh, is double Falcon like good enough to beat double Fox or Fox Path? No, we're definitely not at that point. So that's not something y'all should be worrying about. 
So I think Double Falcon is definitely one of the better teams because it's funny as hell. It's just so hilarious. <laughs> Two knees flying across the screen. Hey, I am so smart. Thank you. Yeah. Get a Phoenix McLeod. Why aren't you using Falcon and Doubles? <laughs> oh shit, we have a game. <laughs> I do know my shit, but... I mean, Pichu's also good in Doubles. Down Smash is... Now, honestly, like... I'm not memeing when I say I think Peach is good in Doubles. Uh, double Peach is a bit slow, but... I don't think, like, the sets with the last word do the Double Peach. I think it was just due to, like, just getting outplayed. Like... Thank you. <laughs> it does a lot of magical things, like, down smash on both plots. Ooh. Castle looking real good. True. <laughs> now, magical things, I, I, I look at it and it looks like it's gonna bud into like a pretty good peach. I have hope for magical things. High hopes. I believe. <laughs> McLeod, car uh, McLeod carries and doubles when I'm figuring out what the hell to do against some players. I carry him with the clutch. The big brain. Uh, one horse sized duck. Because I think it would be more hilarious. Aw, oh, not the, not the one horse sized duck. It's still a duck. It's just like big, but it's still a duck. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to put in the scores or something. Yeah, 1000 is too many. I think the whole 1 or 1000, the 1000 has to be severely nerfed compared to the 1 to be a viable option. They're tiny, but like, they're still horses, so. They're still gonna have some amount of, like, horsepower. Yeah, 1,000 horsepower. Ah, Falco doing Falco things. Dare. Just what? Dare. And I don't blame them, it's a good move. <laughs> Too good. Ah. Oh. You hate to see it. The hard-working, honorable ICs. I just lose the stock like that. I think situations like this are pretty interesting where like the ICs are like not close close but they're near proximity so it's like almost a mind game of like do you think the ICs is gonna try and whack you with the hitbox or do you think they're just prioritizing joining up again? Or maybe I think it's interesting because I'm Peach and I just press the A button half the time. What are you saying Tish? You've already done that. You've already been me with your panda dog. You gotta say, can't wait to do it again. Yeah, you better keep me excited to watch me play on Yoshi's. I mean, I can go to Fountain and there's no guarantee I win, but I already like feel comfortable because I have the hard reads on when the platforms go down. And like, I just want to get comfortable on another stage so I can be like, oh, yeah, this is what I want to go to against Kai. Um, I mean, yeah, FD is definitely good, like, with tank grabs and stuff, and honestly, I'm not a really big fan of platforms against Falco. I think they definitely help out uh, Falco more than Peach. So, FD, I'd say, is definitely something to consider for me, or oh, generally good Peach in the matchup. I'm just working on Yoshi's. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, what's the itch about platforms? <laughs> and look, I like the close quarters, and I wish there was FD, but like Yoshi size. I just like, you know, running in and being like, I'm gonna fair or I'm gonna nair, and one of us is gonna feel stupid. But we don't have small of you. Now that's, that's only in like sketchy games, like oh look. Would you rather play a hundred Yoshi size of feet? One Yoshi size of feet. Hey, you can't. Always a Oh. Honestly, I I think the hundred Yoshi size of feet because it'd be it'd be hilarious. Cause it's FD, but it's like small and boxed in. So you really got that rock'em sock'em robot feel. <laughs> because sometimes, uh, uh, me and Kai, we're just doing like some of the most insane stuff. We're just trying to whack each other. And it's just whack. <laughs> and that's probably the matchup. <laughs> oh. I, was, I don't have an opinion on Randall, it's just kind of there. It's neat. That's <laughs> ah. yeah, thousands of shy guys. Also, oh, I just forget that the shy guys are down Yoshi's. Like, they only appear in my mind when it's annoyance. Now, they'd still be shy. And only be like more open with each other. They'll, they'll still be shy towards the rest of the cast. Aww. Yeah, hate to see it. Unless you love to see it. Fly guys, shy guys. Same thing. Yo! <laughs> I just love when Caleb uses the nerd emoji on someone else. It's just, it's just so perfect. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh no, he's spinning. Nana, help! <laughs> no! <laughs> Can we see a laser F smash? Something I haven't actually seen in a while. Probably because I haven't been on that play. Could have been something special. Yeah, they do. You just. You never know who's gonna win the game. Probably because it's like a volatile matchup, honestly. Um, me and Mason, it definitely could be. It can go either way. I'm, I'm still allowing the matchup. He's. He's like pretty confident against Peach, but. It's still Peach Icy, so sometimes I just like, I get a down smash and he's considering why is Icy so terrible against down smash when it works. Oh, Nair, Nair's also pretty good. <laughs> 1,000, oh, that's probably what I was hearing before. A thousand dollars. That bonnet better give you macros for that price. 
Oh. One foul though. I could not. So much money. For eighty dollars. Just a thousand dollars. See, I'll take one though. Oh. Oh. Aww. <laughs> Surely that could have been a... Wow. GG's? Um, it's kind of rare, but at some op shops you might find like a monitor or something. Uh, you might want to think about checking out your local op shops, just in case. Oh, see ya! Whoop whoop! Last set of the day. Whoop, whoop. What's up, everyone? <laughs> okay. How we going? How we going? Um, so, this is the last round robin of the day. We have Mason and Kat. Big game up ahead. Uh, I think Mason was in port one. Two, port one. Woo. Ready? Ready. Yeah. I'm correct in my assumption. Jeez. Nice fight. Nice game, Mikai. Thank you, Kismet. Alrighty. Yeah. Don't expect me to commentate much because they are the gamers are right here. But I'm just here to chill with everyone. I hope everyone had a good time in um, in Canberra, um, but you wouldn't catch me paying that kind of money to go to Canberra and not be able to do anything other than play games. You, I was not looking to pay that money. Okay, McLeod, thank you for confirming that we will be running a tournament this Wednesday. that McLeod said I miss you. Yeah, I miss having you here to fight at the moment. Um, what would be the next major? Is it just... I mean, usually Queensland has something around this time. I feel like. Before BAM, usually. I feel like Queensland usually has something else. Caleb missing, I say so much. I mean, look, I just appreciate everyone coming through for this type of stream anyway. It's like... This is all I can offer you. Tr like, all I can offer you right now is, is four gamers, and now we're down to three because Coffee Rex had to leave. So we don't even actually get a true conclusion to this uh, round robin. It's actually tragedy. It's actually a tragedy when I had to finish this round robin. Scan on, Jeff. Oh, you know how it is. Just. Just lugging like three thousand dollars worth of equipment to a four-man local. Suck. Kill 
kismet, trying to acclimate yourself for when you eventually come to the local. I mean, you came that one time. That was nice having you here. I want to see you at more, but, you know, I understand. I understand. Can you send me a free PVM? I don't have any. I don't have a PVM, but I do have, like, a Sony broadcast monitor. A, a small one. PVMs are a certain model. Um, and mine, I don't think, is a PVM. It, it is like a broadcast. It, it's like the same series, right? But it's not like a... That's not the model. Uh, yeah, that PVM belonged to Flowrats at Big Cheese. Alright. Is that game one? Pretty sure that was game one. Some nice climbers. Now, McLeod, I'm gonna... I mean, yeah, you can start basic streams for Wednesday tournaments. However, consider this. I did ask for Wednesdays and Fridays off. So... I'm definitely coming through. I want the content for myself, you see. Yeah, yeah, we'll be at Hartley. Um. Uh, we run the stream through UniNet. Um. The only thing about the uni internet is that you can't um, you can't play netplay because you can't connect to anyone apparently. Don't know why. I don't know how it works. Because I tried to enter an online tournament while I was here one time and um, I had to play on phone internet instead of the uni internet and. Um, We'll just say Dave wasn't too happy about the match that he had to play. Uh, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Um, yeah, it was the easy league qualifier. <laughs> and um, yeah, he, he wasn't too happy about that. He wasn't too chuffed. That's for sure. And yeah, look. If if they didn't want that to, if they didn't want that to happen, they should simply have put in a rule that said you shouldn't you are not allowed to enter if you're on phone internet. <laughs> I like you guys playing text based melee in chat. That's so good. Mind melee. Oh, let's go. That was sick. Oh my god, huge comeback actually. Let's go Mason. Oh my god, that's so shit. Is that 1-1? One, one? Yeah, cool. So what is the plan moving forward for McLeod? For McLeod uh, in the world of Smashbox, in the world of rectangles. 
Only one man stands alone. We're just doing frame one. Lunchbox. Yep. Nice. Yeah, I tried using it. I'm like, oh, ooh, ooh, um, my brain is not big enough for this. In the background, also, we have um, Pitchy and Fenno playing Buriki One which is an SNK fighting game where you move left and right with buttons and you use the stick in your right hand to do attacks and grabs. Oh man, Mason's getting super unlucky. Yeah, I, I just love the idea of a fighting game that flips the convention on its head. And he's running off real arcade hardware too. Pretty fog. Thanks, I need to check my roster. For when I will be working next week. It's not too bad. I also love it when Kath does that. Ice climb was good. Yeah, if you do the float cancel correctly, Kismet, uh, Peach is like minimum plus four. It's like four frames of advantage. Oh, up to plus four, sorry. I said that wrong. Oh, something. Anything. Big damage. Alright, tried for the fair meteor. This is still good damage though. Oh, caught held him down there. I kind of believe in Mason to at least take the stock without taking too much damage. I do imagine it's quite hard to kind of edge guard in situations. So, I mean, it's not really a big deal for Isis because you are just going to like space around. Peach just trying to come back to stage. My face with touch dash. Ooh, yep, there it is. Fair down smash. Just unstoppable force versus ice climbers. Damn, I don't know how you aim that. I actually don't know how you aim that up here. So hard for Mason in this situation. He was looking okay for a bit. What is Nana doing? She just ran away. I'm like, what is she doing? Cat's going 2 1 up. Ready? Gnarly. She is doing her best. Oh, there we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big switch for Mason. Don't know how it's going to go. But Mason really cracked <laughs> at using the analog stick. I've never seen in, in my life anyone so like quick on doing short hop double, double laser with tap jump of all of all things. Oh my god, Mace has got like combos. Nice. We have game plan Mason on your screen right now. I, w I would not have gone ledge there. I like this stage control. This has got really good stage control, actually. Just like not too, not too like, I guess, quick to kind of like go forward and thus possibly give up space. That's it. Oh, oh, okay, nice. Um, yes, this is. This is bracket. Yes, this is bracket gun. We had three people. Sorry. Three people who aren't Kaiser show up today. Wow. We have more people watching online than in person. 
Mason's had fucked up luck today with uh, turnips versus Catherine, not gonna lie. See, I like what I see from Mason. And then... They're suddenly getting hit. And I'm like, oh. How'd that happen? The classic. Yeah, that was a nice set, actually. I think Kath wouldn't have dropped a set. Wouldn't have dropped a set. Thank you very much, McLeod. Wouldn't. Would not have. There you go. I believe. I think anything's possible. Oh, good tech though. I like doing the tech and play slide off, really cool. Oh my god, huge for this set now. This is huge for this set. I want Mason to win a game with Fox. I really want Mason to win a game with Fox. I think it's always been cracked, it's just like the way Mason plays is a... Uh, it's a pretty good fit for this character, I feel. Um, and he has like the execution to at least like pilot this guy. It's just a bit drifty, you know? It's a bit like skirt skirt around the edges. It's not as like... It's not like a Formula 1 car, it's like a... It's like someone doing tall gear down a fucking mountain. Oh no, it's, it's, that's rough. Alright, and that's a Jeej, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? That's what happens now. That's what happens now. Alright. <laughs> no, that is, no, Smash is actually lame as fuck. People don't realize that we're all actually playing Kusuge. People don't realize it. We're all playing Kusuge. And it's like, yeah, you're gonna tell me with a straight face that, like, Smash is this, like, uh, sacred competitive experience? Oh, totally, man. Totally. For sure, That's bro. Really no, it's Kusuge, without question. Without fucking question, it's Kusuge. It's just the, it's just like one of the best. <laughs> That's all. It's just one of the best. No, it is, it is one of the best. It's one of the best Kusuge ever made. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I mean, if you want to stick around and like just wrap things up, you can. I won't take any I won't take any offense if you decide not to and just go get food. Alright, well I'll just sign off real quick. Uh ugh, Jesus. That sounded awful. What was that? Oh that was the sound of the headset. Oh that one. Yeah. I'm like, Jesus, what the fuck was Uh yeah, I'm gonna start packing my shit up. Okay. Okay, cool beans. Alright. <laughs> Anime kids. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. We know for a fact that. I like your fox. I actually like your fox, man. Um. <laughs> yeah! I remember those days. Um. Alright, so yeah, as always, like, January is always kind of. Not gonna be like a flop, right? But like, I tend to expect to let less people to show up, and especially because I only put like the start GG up like yesterday, because Jack went on holiday for the weekend. He get he sends me a message at like on Friday, and he's like, "Oh yeah, shit, man, I forgot to make the start GG." I'm like, "Oh, guess I'll do it. <laughs> guess I'll do it then." Um, I think this week though, or, or yeah, no, definitely this week, we actually have all the booking like dates. So I'll put in some effort to like set up a bunch of events and set up a bunch of star GGs so that like they're all there and everyone just knows when things are on. I'll try to like do some announcements for everyone. Um, 
But folks, that's it. That's it for us here in South Australia. Thank you for watching. Make sure to follow us. Mason taking game with ice is crazy. Yeah, yeah you did. Yeah, it was crazy. It's not crazy. It's not that bad. She has no experience in it. I mean, I wouldn't take what that person says <laughs> too much weight to heart. Um, yeah, I I think the stream was all right in the end. I did what I could. Um, yeah, you know where to follow me, folks. Just hit me up on Twitter. And that's the main place. And the VODs will be up on SA Smash TV on YouTube. Okay, everybody, everywhere. Um, we're gonna host. We're gonna raid someone definitely. Um, we have an Oceania uh, Melty Blood type Lumina net play tournament going on at the moment. So I could raid you off to there. But I'm just gonna quickly see who else is streaming melee real quick. And then we'll go from there. Um, yeah, look, I will. I will just raid Fiery, actually. All right. Magic before you post it. Huh? What's the magic before you like finish up the bots? What? Oh, it just looked like you were um, like wrapping it up. So. Oh yeah, I am. Seeing the magic that goes on. The magic? Yeah. What magic? <laughs> what do you mean, like me just kind of. Oh, it looked like you were just making sure everything was right, like. Oh, right. Maybe, like, do the thumbnail or something. Nah, I don't do thumbnails. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do that shit. Alright, uh, I'm gonna raid uh, Fiery. Because um, they are doing a Melty Blood online tournament. Alright. Fiery. Okay. Peace out, everyone. Follow me on Twitter. Um, you know, subscribe to the YouTube. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. The next... Actually, while I have you here, real quick, the next one will be... The next Cheese League will be the 19th of February for Melee. And 11th of February for Ultimate. Okay? Just so you all know. We got it on record. Alright, peace out everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. Uh, let's do this one. Mm -hmm.